I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question on linear equations. The question is, find the equation of a horizontal line passing through the point P, 3, 4, in standard form, Ax plus By plus C equals to 0. So that's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So what are we given here? One, we are given horizontal line. What is a horizontal line? Horizontal line is one in which the coordinate value of y is constant. So, so, so the y value is constant. That is a horizontal line, right? So, basically, if I try to sketch a line in the given situation, which is a line passing through the point 3, 4, right? So, let's say... Uh, we have some point 3 and then this is 4. Let's say we have a line, a horizontal line. Well, uh, let's say this point is this point is 3, 4. It really means that the x value is 3, the y value is 4. So if I have to take any other point on this line, maybe here, what will be the coordinates? Well, the coordinates of this point will be x is 0, y will be 4, right? So it will be 0, 4. If I take a point here, let's say this point is, let us say, minus 3. Even then, this will be 4. So it will be minus 3, 4. And that point will be 0, 4. Do you see that? So whenever we talk about horizontal line, we have to understand that the y value remains constant. Okay. Now, so first statement is find the equation of horizontal line passing through the point P34 and it also passes through the point 34. Right? So horizontal line means y value is constant and it means one thing else also. What is that? Horizontal line as you can see that slope is equal to zero. So write slope m equals to zero. Right? So for any horizontal line slope will be zero and as you can see y value is constant right so change in y is zero therefore the slope is zero now the question is we need to find equation in standard form to find equation in standard form we this may not help us much since we are given slope and a point so what we can do in such a case is that we can actually assume another point as we did Right? We can say, well, the y-intercept is 0, 4 for us because it's a horizontal line. So we can say this point Q uh, is, is 0, 4, right? And now we can use two points and find the equation. That is one solution. We can definitely do that, right? So some of you can do that also. The others may like to write down the equation in slope-intercept form, right? So the others may like to write down the equation in slope-intercept form. So, which I'll prefer here. So, we'll write equation in slope and then y-intercept form. Which is what? Which is y equals to mx plus b, right? So, we'll have y equals to mx plus b. And here, we know that slope is 0 and a point is 3, 4. So, to find the y-intercept, well, we know it, it's 4, but we'll do it, right? We'll substitute 3 and 4 in this equation and slope of 0. So 4 is the y value. So we'll get 4 equals to m is 0, 0 times 3 plus b or 4 is equals to b. So we get the value of by b as 4. So now we can say y is equals to slope is 0, 0 times x plus 4 or y equals to 4 is the equation. Now, this equation is in slope-intercept form. You need to write it in standard form. So, let's write it in standard form. So, that is, we have to have 0 on the right side. So, we'll bring 4 to the left side. So, we get y minus 4 equals to 0. And that becomes the equation in standard form. Do you get the idea, right? You will observe here that there is no x, right? There is no x. So, so this part is missing. So here, what you notice is that a is equal to zero, right? So remember, a is non-negative in standard form. 
A is non-negative, right? So it could be zero also, right? So our answer is, in standard form, the equation is y minus four equals to zero. That line passes through the point three four, and it is a horizontal line. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope that helps. Thank you, and all the best.